Hi, Pisces. It's Opulent Spiritual. Another reading. So you guys are my last reading for August 2024. So let's find out what's going on for you for this monthly cup. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and share my video. It really helps me out with uh, other people finding me and stuff like that. And it helps my channel grow and it's the best way of supporting me. So let's see what's going on. Oh, you have a wish coming true right away. Whoa, dude. What is that about? All right, so you have exciting travel happening here. I don't know. Are you going to some kind of concerts or... I don't know. Look how clear your cup is, though. Wow, you guys have the most clearest cup, I feel, out of all the zodiac signs. You're getting a lot of communication from spirit. You could be involved with a, um, a third-party situation, but you're traveling a lot. I see you, like, I'm hearing ghosting. Maybe you're ghosting someone, too, but ooh, comment down below. Let me know what is happening here. You could be getting a random phone call as well because someone's calling me right now. So let's see. There's a disguise here. Someone's wearing a disguise, a mask. They're not showing their true feelings. Chinese ear of the goat, Leo. Someone's not being honest with you here. So listen to that gut feeling and pay attention to what spirit's telling you because it's very important. All right. Your love life is ascending as well. Ooh, dirty dog. All right. So let's see. That's on the outside. So oh, here we go. We got a we got a two tag team here. We got a tag team. Two people. It's like a burglary here. So you got someone that you guys are together thick and thin. Like this is like your Bonnie and Clyde type of shit. I don't know what's going on here. You guys are about to do some stupid shit. I don't know. But yeah, this is like your person, thick and thin. Like they're always there for you. You can count on them. They're coming up. They're showing up in this cup. Something with snow, snowfall. The winter is significant. I'm also seeing a, a peacock here, which is... um pride and ego maybe you're just very confident right now like i'm seeing someone like puff out their chest like <laughs> i'm just like what is happening chinese year of the rat capricorn 82 47 and 36 is here something about a pottery barn pottery barn or making pottery and like a pottery wheel creating pottery you do have communication that's connecting you to the past as well Chinese ear of the snake it has to do with something with healing. So it's communication that's going to help you heal. Maybe this is someone you're forgiving or they're forgiving you and you're able to move on. This is divinely guided here with this eye. But I was going to say Adam's apple here. Something with Adam's apple. Hmm. You do have a temple here. So a place of worship where you feel safe and protected. I feel like you're going within. And there's something about twice, like two times for sure. I see you ascending. You're going to the next level, but you need to get out of a comfort zone. 94 is here, 37 and 42. Cancer. Okay, so I do see you getting rewarded for something, which is really nice. There's an award being given to you. And I'm hearing word of honor. So maybe you're giving out a speech. Chinese ear of the rat, Capricorn, or this is that person that's giving you this speech. 82, letter J. And for some reason, you have 14 here. 14 steps, I just heard. Oh, you could be in like that step program or whatever that is. I don't know. Is that like AA or whatever? Maybe you quit drinking or doing drugs or whatever, and you're like on that step thing. 
five change Taurus, Chinese year of the dragon this year. And I just heard cryptocurrency, something with crypto. You have an evil eye here. Hmm. But I'm hearing nor bad nor good. This is somebody that's watching you. But I don't think this is someone that you really pay attention to. They're not evil or anything. It's just they're watching you in secret. Aries uh, could be another Pisces like you. Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so water, I guess. Change. Could have Capricorn too. Letter L, letter G, Q, and R. Could be an X. Chinese year of the rat again. Chinese year of the goat. Chinese year of the rooster. Chinese year of the ox. Aquarius. I'm seeing nothing standing in your way now. You're you're able to move forward. Like I'm hearing abruptly, like very quickly. All of a sudden, something is changing. It's like a snap in your reality. You know. You're being divinely guided here by this giant buck here. And it does look like a reindeer to me. Like a big reindeer. Something's definitely happening around like the holiday season or the winter. You're bumping heads with somebody that could be an Aries, Chinese year of the rabbit. But it's like fighting for royalties I'm hearing. But it's like fighting for like the you know how animals fight for like a mate or whatever or like their territory that's what i'm seeing here towards the end of the month so you're fighting for some kind of territory here spoon there's a silver spoon here so you feel like you're being given a silver spoon or people are seeing you that you getting you're getting some kind of leg up over everybody else maybe they're jealous of that because maybe you didn't have to struggle as much as other people but yeah, I, I'm not really sure, but yeah, you're being served a silver spoon here. Like that you're gifted everything. H. You do have a, a parrot here, gossiping, telling you little stories here and there. This person could have Gemini placements. They're not really, it's not, they're not being like evil, but like they're not, they don't have the whole story. You know what I mean? They're telling you shit, but it's not like all true. Like they're adding their own little spices into the story to make it interesting. It's not 100% true. And I am seeing a giant eagle here. Whatever you're struggling with, you're going to overcome it. And it's going to be like with flying colors here. Like you're going to be beyond by the end of the month. You're going to feel so much better, whatever you're struggling with. And I see a good outcome to something you tried three times. Yeah, again, you have a wish coming true here. You have a possum here. Possums are usually at night. They hang out at night and they're relatively like harmless. You know, they look, you know, scarier than they actually are, I believe. So there's something about impression here or judgment of others. Like maybe someone's judging you or a group of people are judging you for something that you're not that's not truly you there's something about like the mask you know how i was saying like it's like you but not really la la like that that kind of weird shit that's what's happening here chinese year of the rat chinese year of the dog pisces aries and aquarius we have letter f and cancer is here too 111 is here that's your angel number so expect some powerful change in a brand new beginning. Especially the judgment of others and letter D is here as well. Let me put this over here.
could be dealing with a water sign. There could be travel involved with this person and it's in divine timing as well. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Wow, you guys got like just expression cards like and chakras. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm hearing a dull ache. So you could be experiencing some kind of... Oops. Dull ache. That's your cup. Here. And there's something about you. What the hell is happening here? Yeah, there's something about priorities here. Again, like your priorities straightened out. Did I get these already? Well, let's see. I'm not sure. And something about you feeling abandoned in this situation. Okay, so love and relationships, age. Yeah, something with your home is changing here. Homework. I just heard Charlie. Okay, so it's something about being lighthearted and carefree and you're finding out something. Maybe you found out something in cancer season or it's coming from a cancer sign. Someone is coming back into your life that ghosted you or gaslighted you. And you're going to be torn in many different directions. You could have a lot of people wanting your attention this month, but you are protected, especially a brand new beginning with your money. It could be connected to your relationships with love. If you believe in love, it says believe in love. So something's going to make you believe in love again this month. Lucky, because maybe you feel lucky. Crown, crown chakra, connected and elevated. You feel lucky and you feel connected. Debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. Wow, you clear some kind of karma in your relationships here. Honeymoon. Honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. You could be attending someone's wedding or a party, an event. Flying somewhere with someone or just alone, but you're meeting someone there. Could be door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Capricorn. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I'm seeing a couple different stories here. So like separation, meeting someone new, someone coming back from the past. There's a few things, but you know, a lot of people are watching this. So take what resonates. You'll know if it's for you. Work and money. Virginia. North Carolina. <sighs> Soulmate here, partnership. Partnership thriving here. There's a secret and there's gossip here with that parrot. So the gossip's coming from work and money here. Creative, something creative here. Perfect timing. The, this is the right time for you to move forward. Ooh, someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. There's someone that is trying to get what you want. Remember I was talking about the, the bumping of heads and all that? Muddled, unclear thinking. Sagittarius, you are get you are a giving soul, but be careful of people who deplete you and don't reciprocate. Hmm. Like an, I'm hearing, no more Mister Nice Guy. News and spirit news. We have E, B, E B T, Three of Cups. Something about friends, celebration, party. Yeah, you're going to be invited to some kind of event. It could be a formal event. It could be that wedding. Something with your um, sacral chakra. So you're going to feel very attractive at this time. Your heart is going to be open here. The heart chakra, this took a long-ass time here. 
It's like a, a cycle that you were in. It took a long time. 23 full of wonder. And it's surprising. It's an exciting event. It's very exciting and it's fun. You're going to have a lot of fun. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Leo. Tower. Solid foundation. Success with effort. Root chakra. Money problems. So you need to ground yourself, especially with your money and finances are changing. You know, there could be some disruptions with that. So home and self. You're going to feel uh, secure and stable in your home and within yourself. When I saw this, I, I heard lit. Like, it's, it's lit, you know? Hmm. You're seeing something very clear now. In one day, one week, one month. Chinese year of the rat, Capricorn. The self. Move on. So you're going to be moving on here. Do some research. You need to you you need more information about the situation. Look into it further before proceeding. I'm sorry if I'm breathing weird and stuff. It's just my chest is tight, you know. And uh, yeah, communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Taurus, romance, celebration, and party. That could be someone inviting you. That take care enemies are working against you. Perspective can help you understand this situation. Try to look through a new lens to see their point of view. Hmm. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it brought you some clarity. Let me know. Comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe, baby. And I'll see you in the next one. The 17th could be significant as well. Namaste, love and light.